Sorry, I'm totally out of bell flowers. There's a big ruckus down in Fossil Valley. Men from the dragoons were setting roadblocks in the valley. I'll get some in a few days, so come back again then. You have my sincerest apologies. I understand we are here to protect you as Acacia dragoons. Those knights should be done with their work shortly. Oh, that's all right. I can get my flowers from other places too. Never mind that. I haven't seen Karsh around here lately. How is he doing? Wow, this is a lot of dialogue. Well, he said he was going ghost hunting down south. I'm just a private, so I don't know for certain, but I heard a rumor that Lord Viper ordered him to go. A ghost? Now that's something I... Uh, I just, oh, now that's something. I just hope it's not a sign of a coming disaster. If you ever see him, give me give him my regards. I will do that, and I will be back too. The art style is very interesting because it's like blurry, intentionally blurry. Maybe it is, yeah. Wait, did you hear that? Karsh is that guy we saw at the Cape. And that ghost he's hunting, ain't that you, mate? So that Acacia Dragoon mob is behind this after all. Let's check this place out a bit more. Oh, I'm the ghost. How did they even know to look for me? Who was that? You don't know who he is? Aha, you must be one of the tourists here to see the festival. That boy is dear, sweet Glenn. A member of the Acacia Dragoons. Pretty popular with the people here. But it really surprises me to see that naughty little boy grow, grown so mature. It makes me feel my age sigh. Man, it doesn't even look like these places are... You know, it doesn't look like I can go to some of these places and it lets you go there. <clears throat> Would you like to stay with us one moment, please? We have a room available, it's a hundred gold, sure. Yes, we did it, we just used the greeting we were taught by the hero Pierre. We are visitors vacationing from Pora. It's very beautiful out here and the food is great. We've only got good things to say about this place. The inn is a hot spot for rogues and vagrants. I'm here checking for anyone suspicious. When the weather is so nice out, the laundry will dry quickly. It makes me so happy in the laundry. We know that's how laundry works. Then again, if it gets too dry, I'll start worrying about droughts. Sometimes it's got to rain too. Wow, I came up here to hear that? That's the rockin' bard Nikki. He's the hottest star right now, holding a concert at the pier. It's gonna be the highlight of the festival. He's not exactly my type, though. Do you wanna buy a ticket? Yes. Oh, sorry, just sold the last one. If there's anything else you want, come again. Uh huh, yeah. So, there's a festival, just like in Chrono Trigger. It starts out with a festival. You're not gonna find anything over here. Oh. My apologies. Cat. Cat, cat. I've been fired from my job and I'm really strapped for cash. But have you heard about this thing called the Frozen Flame? We did hear about that. Oh, we... That was in... Where did, oh, that... That was in the Radical Dreamers. What? That thing is going to be mine. Once you get your hands on it, you're guaranteed, you're guaranteed to be El Nido's. No, the world's richest man. That's what I call a Termin, Terminian dream. What else can you tell? All right, one more boat, one more toast to my bright future. Okay. This guy thinks that the frozen flame is some kind of jewel. I'd say think things aren't that easy. It's probably a monster. Once you gaze at it, boom, you're well done, like a steak on a barbecue. Well, you're free to dream, but daily work is always the best. Nothing beats hard work and dedication. I saw Miss Riddle visiting the shrines again. She made a darling couple with her childhood sweetheart, Dario. It's such a pity that he died so young. They say beautiful women rarely find happiness. How about me? Do I look happy? Sure. 
I figured that's what she would say. Since Dario died, one of the chairs of the four divas at the Arcasia Dragoons has become vacant. Sir Viper is said to be looking for candidates. I can't foresee anyone who can match the caliber of the great knight Dario, though, if, I, if only I were a little younger. Welcome to the Dragon's Tale. Our house is open to all, but we don't allow any tabs or brawls. Put your feet up and have a grand time. You're travelers, aren't you? That's okay, I can tell by the way you look. So what do you think of Termina? This port town just loves travelers. I love this town and all of its people, whether they are residents or travelers. Barkeep, one more order of squid gut pasta. Yeah. More? That's all you eat. Try some of the other dishes, will ya? The better tasting it is, the better, the faster I eat it up. Right now, we are in the middle of a good conversation. Okay, whatever. My name is Guile. I'm having a certain bet with the fortune teller by the bridge. If I can bring the item of proof from the manor within a week, I shall win. If I cannot, I shall lose. But as there is a trick behind any mysterious magic, so there is no such thing as an impregnable fortress in this world, a toast to my coming victory. Person say they like the bard too. So this is the singer Nikki everyone's singer Nikki everyone's been talking about. My dear, he looks like a girl. <laughs> when I was young, it was a luxury for even a girl to have any makeup on. Nowadays, even the boys are becoming glamorous. But as long as it's trendy, I might as well join in with the youngsters and show off my go-go dancing. I'm here to polish your statue again, Master Viper. Alright, all squeaky clean. It's got to be extra clean for this festivities. Have you folks come to see the Viper Festival? Termina is peaceful thanks to the ma watchful eye of Master Viper. At times warm, at times strict, Master Viper watches over all of us. With that said, of course, the real Master Viper resides in his manor along with his Acacia Dragoons. If, you're, if you'll allow me to brag a little bit, I was invited to the manor a while back. It is a magnificent place. If there is a heaven on earth, that would be it. The manor is beautiful, and its design incorporates the surrounding terrain to its advantage, making it an impenetrable fortress. On top of that, there are powerful so soldiers standing guard in front of the main gates who can destroy any monster with just one blow. Well, an upright citizen like myself might be invited to the manor's garden party, but not so for you folks. The most you will get is a cold reception from the gate guards. Hmm. How do you know who we are? All right, that's settled. We've got to sneak into Viper Manor. you got to find out what those Acacia Dragoons are up to, right? Why was Karsh trying to capture you? I've got some business there as well, so I'll go with you. How about it? Sure. It's the obvious choice, right? According to Grandpa here, the Viper Manor is a bloody large place, which also means it'll be easy to break into. There's got to be more than one way in. If we don't find, If we don't plan this right, it'll cost us our lives. Hopscotch? Me? No, I'm not waiting for anyone. I'm just too cool to hang out with anyone else. And that is how the sixth grade dragon sealed away evil and restored peace to the land. The end. Mama, do dragons really exist? How big are they? Oh, silly. This is just a fairy tale. The old people made it up. But Mama, Korcha says dragons still exist. Are you still playing with that boy? How many times have I told you to stay away from him? It's Hocus Pocus, like that that's keeping gold of in the Dark Ages. Where in the world is there such a thing as a dragon tear? I'm sorry, Mama, but Korcha's stories are fun to listen to. The story he told last time about Master Viper's Manor was so scary. No buts. Anything that boy says is a flat-out lie. Any child that believes in such nonsense is not a child of this family. No way I belong to this family. There, there. You're not going to get better if you don't listen to me. Now, if you promise me you won't play with Porch anymore, I will tell the next story. Uh-huh. I promise. So please, tell me the next story. Yes, yes. What should I read you next? A little too much dialogue. Oops. Just look around. Flowers decorate the town when the festival comes. Don't you think it's romantic to have the whole town filled with flowers? It's our way of showing our gratitude toward Master Viper. We're really thankful to Master Viper for our town's peace. Oh, you silly boy. boy that's your right, isn't it? Okay.
Yes, who might you be? Grandma, there are travelers passing through. My, my, so sorry. My eyes have become really weak in my old age, and I thought my grandson had come back. My grandson was such a cute boy. He was really plump and cheerful and loved to make people laugh. That's why the boy joined the circus and became a clown. For the first few years, he wrote letters to me almost daily. He always said how gratifying the work was, although it was very challenging. One day, his letters suddenly stopped coming. I haven't heard from him since. I hope he hasn't, wasn't in an accident or something. I just pray that I might see his cheerful face once more before the heavens come to claim my soul. Grandma keeps waiting for her grandson to come back. She always tells me stories about him, but we don't know where he is. If you ever meet him on your travels, please tell him Grandma is waiting for him. I believe his name is Skelly. Mm-hmm. Oh, mmm, smells delicious. I just can't wait till it's done cooking. Huh. Who might you be? Fortunes be good, fortunes be bad, anything from reading your destiny to searching for the missing. Do you wish for your fortune to be read? Um, sure. Who would you like, a, who would like reading Chocobit? Well, this is interesting. You're not dead or anything, are you? Has anybody called you back from the great beyond? You just might be the key to the destruction of this entire planet. Can't say for sure, but fate seems to have a great task for you. Be careful now, my boy. Hey, Chocobit, that's nothing but rubbish. Let's hurry up and get moving. Hmm, you there. In your eyes, I perceive both the beauty of a... Both the look of a beauty and the look of a beast. Be mindful not to bring about your own end, my dear. A dream lies in wait, reaching out to engulf you. Sorry, dearie, I don't believe in fortune telling at all. I make me own future. Lastly, you should listen to your elder's advice. Ha, I don't give a darn. Let's go, chuckle bit. Uh, Yahoo. Oh, there, come and see for yourself. This is the prize of all prizes, a rare catch, a live mermaid. This is what you call a real treasure. Remember that, kids. Unfortunately, this one isn't for sale. She's my most valuable item. So what do you think? This isn't some stuffed animal or anything. She's really alive. Her pure, clear skin, like it's made from crystal. Her gem-like eyes. She's the ultimate collector's item. Nature's creations are indeed great. Such a beautiful thing. Is this thing really alive? Hey, come on. Look over this way. Oh, how beautiful she is. is some guy throwing rocks. Oh, Korcha. Oh, wait. We heard about this guy. Hey, you. You think that this is really fun? How would you feel if you were trapped in a tank like that, being stared at every day? Yikes, it's Korcha, run. Korcha, not you again. Don't you go bothering my customers. This is no place for the likes of you. Just leave. Shut up. What, what customers? You're selling a bunch of bull. Why didn't you keep the tank uncovered when I showed up? Hey, everybody, this sh shop is a bunch of baloney. Shut your mouth. Don't you say things. Don't you say ridiculous things. Get back to your demi-human. I won't take that from you or from a sleazebag like you. Hey, you guys, you're not from around here. Wander around too much, you're going to get burned. Just watch your back. Oh, he's on the boat down there. There he goes. He's from Goldove. So Clarch is from Goldove. Wonder why he hangs around in Termina all the time. Don't mess with the likes of him. I tell you, he's nothing but trouble. We saw that name, but I can't remember where. Okay, whatever. We'll listen to what you say. Overslept, and this corner is the only place open. To make things worse, the shrines are just past this point. They're called shrines, but they're really just a bunch of, bunch of graves. I feel a bit uneasy. It's rumored that a possessed giant and a girl live in the shack near the shrines. Wow, Big Bro's got a great place to open up shop. That spot's ideal for roadside merchants like us. Oops, no time to lose. I gotta hurry and set up myself. Please come back a little later.
What business brings you here? There are only shrines here. You shouldn't disturb the resting peace of the brave. There is no place for outsiders to roam around. I don't mean to be harsh, but if you have no business here, please leave. Ooh, that's very harsh. I have business here, okay? Because somebody told me there's a shrine over here. I gotta check it out. See? Cutscene. There's a big sword on the ground. So she was out of flowers. That is unfortunate. Then let us pray without any flowers for today. Riddle. Father, brother. It is such a mystery. The sword never rusts, even when left in the rain. It seems as if the souls of its masters live within it. Do you not think so, Glenn? Yes, I have engraved in my memory the lives of my father and brother who had wielded the sacred sword Einlanzer. Sounds German. Let us hope that is true. What do you mean by that, Miss Riddle? I cannot allow even you to... Do you not think there is something odd about the dragons of late? Daddy's face shows such anguish, and even Karsh was saying he, sent, he was sent on a ghost hunt. Miss Riddle... Everyone has been acting oddly ever since that beastly guest arrived at the manor. Glenn, promise me to always keep the unclouded truth in sight. Do not be swayed by the masses. The splendor of the Einlanzer must not be tarnished. As you wish. Oh, forgive me. I just found it a little awkward to hear you say such words. Miss Riddle, a chill wind has risen. Shall we return to the manor? Yes, of course. Now, Riddle is the daughter of that one evil guy whose manor we went inside, right? Beneath the sacred sword, the warriors lie. 13th Acadia Dragoon, Dragoon Grandmaster Garai. 14th Acadia, Acacia Dragoon, Grandmaster Dario. Oh, they're dead. Oh, you can come out this way. Oh, wow. Wait, where did they go? I saw them walk this way. This is Korcha. And that guy rushed and hid it as soon as I got there. It was a hilarious sight. Let's talk about the mermaid. Haha, <laughs> that's great. Oops, I've got customers. I'll, sorry, I'll get you some big fish next time you come by. All right, Korcha, but are they really going to be big this time? You only ever catch small fry. Your boating skills are first class, but your fishing skills suck. <laughs> ah, shut up. Oh, it's you guys. You're tourists, right? The festival's a waste of time. My name's Korcha. I'm here from Gildov. Goldov. Goldov? Goldov. Working as a ferryman. I can take you anywhere you like with this boat. I take money, but don't worry, it's not that much. My boating skills are quite famous around here. I guarantee a comfortable ride. Hey, you. We want to... Hey, you. We want to get to Viper Manor. Can you take us there? Viper Manor? What you gonna do up in that place? You gonna go steal treasure from the vaults or something? Don't go snooping into your customer's privacy. Are you gonna take us there or what? As long as you can pay me, I'll take you anywhere you want. It's just that I don't know how to get to the manor. If you want to get there, some bring someone who does. Jeez, don't you live here? Me, I love boats, but I can't become a sailor because I get seasick. That's why I decided to become a ship craftsman and build the fastest and awesomest boat ever. So my first step is to watch all the boats here for research. Research and research. Ain't I smart? Out of all the boats I've seen, the boat at the docks is the best and fastest of them all. I wish I could build one like it. Welcome, this here is the official blacksmith of the Acacia Dragoons. We carry only the best goods. Come and take a look. What do you want? This ain't no show. If you got business, take it to the counter. Hey, don't tell me you want to apprentice under Master Zappa. A shoe, beat it. My master ain't gonna take any other apprentice besides me. Oh, 
Arch, how many times do I have to say it? Dene let the customers back here. How many years have you been with have you been my wife? Oh, that's a woman. Oh, over on the counter. Zippa Zappa's wife. <laughs> What's a big ape like you doing worrying about such trivial stuff? Don't you be complaining up a storm over just one or two customers coming to talk to ye? Arch, you'll never ken the delicate heart of a craftsman like yours truly. I dunna expect a layman like you to ken to ken what I'm saying, but the art of smithing may seem only like physical labor, but it requires far more mental prowess. Every time the hammer strikes, a wee bit on the soul goes with it. I guess what I'm saying is your soul is what makes the sword. So if you're standing there yapping and distracting me, I cannot focus my soul into the steel. Die Ken? I have no idea what that is. How, how that's supposed to be read? If so, then get going. Oh, is she British? Ah, why can you need... Oh yeah, she is, huh? Ah, why can you no leave me be? This sword, it's no good now. Time to start over. I ruined a sword. <laughs> okay, I'll try. I'm not good at accents. Mysterious swordsman. Swordsmanship is as beautiful as a rose. The rogue ambition hidden beneath its beauty. Ah, uh, these words fit moi perfectly. Oh, pardon me, monsieur. Moi forgot to introduce myself. Moi forgot to introduce myself. Mon name is Pierre. I am renting this room from Monsieur Zappa. I am on my way to see this General Viper soon. From what I hear, there is a vacancy among the four divas of Acacia Dragoons. Such a position is perfect for a splendid swordsman as moi. One graceful flash of more sword will surely have them saluting moi as the guest of honor. But I have lost my precious medal, symbolism of heroism. Without it, I will certainly be turned away at the gate. Sacre bleu, what am I to do? He was using French words. That Pierre staying at Zappa's place says he's a hero, but it sounds fishy. In the first place, the way he talks is just too strange. Anyone that believes him is either too honest or too gullible. I just found something super. Ta-da! Isn't it cool? Oh, it's cool, ain't it? A shiny medal on my chest. It suits me perfectly. He found Pierre's medal. I know someone... Wait, I almost read that Scottish. Um, I don't... I, for some reason, I can't think of a British accent right now. I know someone who's looking for that. Well, I'd be a thief if I didn't return lost items. And I want to be a hero, not to... Oh, then now the kid's talking. Okay, here you go. Chocobit received hero's medal. Sacre bleu, that is my medal! I got all my French accent training from watching Beauty and the Beast. It is just hopeless. All these two... Although these two are brothers, they're always fighting over something. Mr. Dario and Mr. Glenn once lived here peacefully, but Mr. Dario used to... Oh, Mr. Dario used to watch over Mr. Glenn, and Mr. Glenn respected his big brother more than anyone else. They were poor but happy, thinking only of each other's well-being. You can see that just by looking at this room, right? Hey, are you two listening to me? Gee whiz. It's all the sparkles. Wait, what? Hang on, I got a Viper Cup Tournament of Swords, Youth Division First Place, Sir Dario. Wait, he was a kid, or is this just old? I'm not talking to him ever again. Okay, I don't care. <laughs> I don't even know who you are. Viper Cup Tournament of Swords, Youth Division Runner-Up, Sir Glenn. Ooh, some jealousy there, maybe? I'm not talking to Big Brother ever again. Well, that that is just fine. I guess I should give this guy back his medal. Ice too. 
I am on my way to see this General Viper soon. From what I hear, there is a vacancy among the four divas. Oh, I've already talked. This is what he already said. Uh, yeah, maybe he will now. Wow, I'm not gonna give it to him. I'm. <laughs> I guess it's too shiny. I just want to keep it. Wait, is that Corcha? No, different boat. Oh my gosh, it's a ghost boat. That's the ghost Corcha's looking for. Be like, Corcha, there's your ghost boat. This place is a little bigger than I like to tend to like to explore, but it's the Lucky Charm, Lucky the Cat. Japanese wall scrolls. Sa step one, save money. Step two, save money. Step skip three and four, save more money. Step five. You can't say it is a skill for work, but it certainly has a it has a certain beauty. It's very like bagpipey. Are you the young master's friend, or do you wish to see Master Go? Master Go is presently away, but he will be back shortly. Wow, he's a painter. Oh, yeah, Van Gogh. Oh, there's Van. Bother, this is not something is, this is not it, something is missing. I believe I am on the right track, however. What is your opinion? Um, looks good. You really think so? Why, thank you, but I still need to hone my skills a bit more. That guy's a little large around the center. Father, when did you come home? Van's father, go. Ah, I just, uh, I came back just a moment ago. The ship docked ahead of schedule. How have you been? After a short break, I shall be on my way again. Oh, father, off on another business trip. Yes, that's right. This is another important business opportunity. I shall be gone for a while again. Why don't you paint less and start studying accounting for a change you'll never make a living off painting if there is anything you need tell the maid she shall give you some money well I'm off <laughs> he's funny looking father had promised to go see the festival with me but then he does not really care about the promises he makes oh <clears throat> that's too bad as one gazes at the sea all day long, one starts to wonder where the sea, sea ends and where one's self begins. I've tried to live my way, but maybe I have just been drifting along, trapped in the ebb and flow of the ocean's tides. Wouldn't you agree, dear? How could I forget? She has already returned to the great sea. Oh, she was, he was talking to his dead wife. I can't go in there. Oh. There's nothing in there. What is this thing? Yeah, me like working, but work all day, tiring, need rest. When we rest, overseer mad, me have hard time. Oh. Anchors. What are you looking at? I'm working here. Get out of my way, you're bothering me. You're not working. What did you just say? Maybe you don't get it, but I'm here to oversee these demi-humans. These guys always slack off on the job if you don't watch them carefully. I need to keep my eyes peeled. I like the art style. It's very cool. Interesting. Ter Telmina? That part says it over in the top too. Telmina Festival something. Authorized personnel only. If you have no business, keep moving. They just use the same sound for both. Well, they don't have a separate RNL, I guess is a better way to put it. Anyway, it's. What are these girls gonna say? We are the twin backup dancers. I'm you, and she's me. You, me. We're just stage support for Nikki and Mickey, but someday we're going to take the lead on the stage. But when, when will such a day ever come? 
Just keep at it. Work hard. This is my first time visiting, ter visiting Terminus, so I was wandering around town promoting the band. Lively town, food's great, all in all a pretty nice place. The concert's success seems almost guaranteed, but just between us, the main star, Nikki is missing. Have you seen him around? We've found him in a daze quite a few times lately. It's like he was here in body, but not in spirit. But man, without him, we're gonna, we, <laughs> we're pretty stuck. We can't even start rehearsing for the show. Nikki's supposed to be back soon, but search, from searching, but. Mickey, how was it? Did you find him? No, it's no use. I was able to track him up till he went into Shadow Forest, but there were knights guarding the entrance to the place and I couldn't get in. Besides, I really didn't want to be in those creepy woods on my own. There's supposedly a way into Viper Manor, Manor at the end of the forest, but what is that idiot trying to do? I see, so he definitely went into Shadow Forest. Hey, I know. You guys can help me out. I'll lure the knights away from the entrance, then you can go into the forest and find Nikki. Pretty please, won't you help a pretty girl in distress? Okay, rock on. Really? Oh, you're a lifesaver. Okay, let's start moving. Yeah. This is like some large boat. I've heard rumors that our sweet Nikki is missing. He couldn't have left me for another girl, could he? Ooh, how could you? How awful of you, Nikki. I'm going to be Nikki's honey bun. <laughs> then I will make lots and lots of mud pies for him to eat. Oh, little girl. Okay. This area is off limits. All non-staff members keep out. Well, you can see from the map, yeah, that there would be... It does butt up against the Viper. Uh, what do they call it? Viper Manor? Wind is back! Is this an enemy I can fight? I can walk through it. This is an enemy? Yeah. The head of an onion, the body of what you'd think an onion would look like, I guess. Bulba? Why did it have question marks? Oh, bulb. Does it say the gender? I didn't see that. Okay, so... And they are innate... Okay, don't tell me, because I'll, I'll, I'll remember. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Um, they are innate green, which means the opposite of green in this game is not red as you'd expect, but... and then it's yellow. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> How was your dinner, Wind? Yeah, black and white, you don't have to even think about. No, I did defend again. Dang it. I always do that. Ooh, dulcet bulbs. <laughs> it's funny the way I attack them. It's like seems not like full commitment. It's just like, eh. just stick them a little bit. Ooh, that was some super duper attack stuff. Okay, let's do it. Let's steal. Ooh, he's gonna bushwhack. That did some good damage. I'm gonna kill her. <laughs> I got a bag of stuff. Copper pick. That sounds good. Could I? Maybe I could deconstruct that into copper. And oh wait, no, it's iron that I needed. That didn't hurt.
Oh, they're green. I need to do yellow. Uh, I'll do red since the field effect is red right now. Oh, the center doesn't change anything. Oh, okay. So I could do red or green. Chicken. Rice and salad. That sounds really good. But she was out of spots. But I could give it to her instead of one of her red ones. I eat a lot of chicken and rice. I really like chicken and rice. Yeah. Listen to my song. <laughs> what? Ooh, 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 sweet sister of mine. Yeah, yeah, it sounds like that one song. Dang it, it's hopeless. It turns out green blobs don't appreciate music. Why is he like so... Okay. Well, I caught up to him really fast, but then I stood here and <laughs> let him run. <laughs> oh, can I go up there? Oh, those steps here. Uh, come on. Okay, yeah, you can. Oh, are you talking about Octopath 3D Pixel? Yeah, I, yeah, that's a good way to describe that game, too. That one, they... I've heard people call it HD 2D or something. What do they call it? 2D HD or something? No, it's different. Have you played Octopath? It's good the only game. problem with Octopath, and it is kind of a big problem, is way too much dialogue. Maybe more than twice as much dialogue as they should have. I just want to sing you my song. I didn't dismiss that dialogue. I don't know what it said. I can't fend them off or something. Look, they're just doing some sort of weird dance. Octopath is great. Oh, he surrounded him. Oh no, from behind. He's got a guitar. It almost looks like Sora's Keyblade. The way he's holding it. <laughs> he's tapping his foot, yeah. Oh, he just electric guitared that guy, but then the other guy got hurt. Are we gonna wait till he's dead before we help? <laughs> They've each taken one turn. Maybe we are just waiting for a while. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, let's hit him from behind. That's not fair. It's totally how I want to do this. And what are they? They're yellow, so we want a green. Bushwhacker. Oh, yeah. Get bushwhacked! I don't know. Wow, 57? This game is actually really cool. The one on the left. Seventy, that's how you do it right there. Oh, I only have one green. So now I have to do something that's not green. I'll do Aqua Beam. Because there's already blue on the field too. Oh, okay. Yeah, we should check that. He's not... He doesn't look like he's dying yet. I should pill for Mickey instead, or Nikki. See if I can steal something really good. Yeah, we can break it down into components.
Is that his name? Cassowary? Whoa, is this one stronger than the others? Oh, I guess Nikki hit the other two, but not this one, huh? My stamina is 3.4, is that what that says? Yeah, I was thinking I uplift would be good. Ouch! Gosh. It's an RPG, but you know. Do you play RPGs very much, Win? I didn't know that I de equipped it. He just ditched me? No. Was with him. Emo. Is that a. Is that an enemy? I want to kill it. What the heck's this thing? The thing's fast asleep. What do we do now? Oh, that was Australian. No, I, my accent was Australian. Unintentionally. I, I'm not good at accents. But I think she's more like... Um, I don't know what I don't know what the word is, but it's not like the British that they like. It's not like the British that they speak in like Lord of the Rings or anything. There are red berries growing here. <laughs> Sponge trees, green berries. <gasps> what am I in a waterfall? What, he came in here? I didn't even see him go in the water. It's you. What's this? Nice attitude, freak. <laughs> we saved your life. You could at least thank us. You're off to Viper Manor, right? Take me with you. Who are you? Hmm? I think I recognize you from a poster in Termina. And what business do you have in Viper Manor? I believe my sister is in there. Your sister? Anyway, I'll let you in on a secret if you let me join your party. Sure. Guitar hero? That's what your name's gonna be. Nikki joined your band. I'm the rockin' bard Nikki. How about a song? Oh, no, no, no. Please, no. Oh, fine. <laughs> All right, so what's the secret you want to tell us? In order to get inside Viper Manor, you have to go through the water vein further up. But there's a monster block in the way. In order to move it, you have to feed it one of the monsters in the forest. I wasn't sh quite sure how to lure one to it, but then I found this notebook. It says to lure the monsters with their favorite food. Favorite food? Yeah. It's probably talking about the plant life growing in this forest. The plants are attracted to a certain aroma and then emit their pollen. There are a total of three monsters in all, each of which has its preference in food. I'll be staying by the port in Termina. Call on me any time. What? Well, that's that. And now for a song. No. All right, let's get going. Hey, wait for me. I don't know what's happening. It has a bit of humor in the dialogue. Yeah, I guess it does, huh? I need to get that chest, yeah. And what is this thingy? Chuckle bit found aroma pouch. That blob is probably gonna have to lure to the monster. In order to wake up the monster blocking the path, use an aroma pouch and check all the plant life. Some of the plants will be attracted to the aroma. There are monsters in the forest that eat the pollen given off by these plants. Use the pollen to lure these monsters to the monster po blocking the path. Once you wake it up, all you have to do is defeat it. But in my case, it defeated me. I leave this helpful note for anyone who wishes to get through. Mixed among the pile of bones is, a, is one bone different from the rest. Pick it up. Choke a bit found. Angry scapula! Okay. <laughs> 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 Yeah, I play. We've played a ton of RPGs. To, um, usually, a lot of them together, huh? Yeah. 
This thing makes a funny sound. Yeah, it does. The, the, they electrocute you if you hit them with your sword. So we have an aroma pouch. And we collect one aroma. Oh, it just follows us. Uh, aren't we? Sp we're supposed to lure a different monster. Oh, you think that we should get it to... I didn't realize this is the monster we were luring, but I guess that makes sense. Oh, check out my aroma. I can't even tell if he's following me the camera. Okay. Nope. Oh, wait. I almost went back in there. Um, so... Yeah. How do I get to that one? I don't think I can get to that one. This one has red berries. So when I was a kid, I played a lot of RPGs. Final Fantasy 2 and six i mean it was called three when it came out but it was six two and well i guess it was four six seven eight ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen i played all those final fantasy games and then we played final fantasy five recently on this stream and um i haven't played final fantasy one all the way through um well, none of them have followed me when... Well, these two didn't follow, at least. These onions move around a lot. I tried, like, walking over here. And then when if you go in the water, then... Oh, yeah, maybe you're right. Okay. Let's see. I still have this red thing following me. Oh, yeah. Blue. Look, you can go this way. You can just drop down. I think that they... I think they've already announced that they're remaking it. Oh, I see why you thought it was blue, because... <gasps> he likes it! Oh, you got him. We have to defeat this then to get through. I, I want to do an accent for her, but I have to remember what they sound like. <clears throat> okay. Miss. Okay, good. And then he is a nay green, so he's gonna get electro jolted. Cool. That's some good damage. Okay, yeah, I thought I'd still be able to do something with her. Okay, uplift. This should be really good. Yeah, I think they announced it. Let me look. So I go to this... Have you ever used the website NintendoLife.com? I am pretty sure... I, I also am curious if I'm remem remembering that correctly. Oh, we have extras, so we're good. Final Fantasy Tactics Advance. Okay, it's a rumor right now. A 
according to NintendoLife.com. Final Fantasy IX Remake and a Final Fantasy Tactics Remaster. Yeah, it's just a rumor, so no, no firm announcement yet. 